Hi, today's question is, Brock, how do I ensure good production at a large gravel and sand formation that is uh, easily destabilized? What should I do? Hey, this is Brock in the field. We're going to talk about well development. Well development starts by understanding my drill logs and my geology for my area, building my drilling program according to that, making sure I maintain good uphold velocity in my drilling program of, you know, somewhere between 80 and 150 feet per minute for drilling fluids like mud, you know, air maintaining that 3,000 to, you know, 7,000 feet per minute. But we're talking gravel and we're high water table, so this is going to be a mud rotary well. So I'm going to make sure my drilling fluids program, I've talked to my local mud engineer, and I got a good program put together with a low filtrate, and then I'm going to start looking at what my mud weight is, looking at my filter kick, making sure I can maintain those with my solids control unit. Then once I get my screen and casing in at bottom, the next thing I'm going to look at is what kind of development fluid should I use if I had a bigger filter cake, if I'm worried about those type of things, you know, looking at a phosphate-free dispersant to help develop my well. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to have a good development program. I'm going to surge. I'm going to jet. I'm going to make sure I'm utilizing the entire screen. Maybe I've sent off those samples and I've made sure that my sieve analysis is correct and I'm using the right size screen. And I'm just going to follow all of those. If we start with a good drilling fluids program, we install our product correctly, we get our gravel pack in, you know, we have a good grout seal, and then we can start developing on it, and then it becomes pretty easy to develop a well out that's going to be exactly the specific capacity that we were looking for for that job. So maintain good drilling fluids, good drilling program, then making sure I size my gravel pack and my screen accordingly, and then making sure that I have the right agitation and development process to continue to have a good well. Behind me looks like it's going to be a good well. I hope you're having a great week. Thanks, everybody.